Hey up, welcome back. Today we're not doing a tool review. I know, yep. I'm actually gonna put some tools to use and I'm gonna make some out. So let's crack on with it. Yeah, so basically what we're making today is a bottle opener. Uh, went to open a beer last night, I don't drink much, I only have one bottle every now and again, like a nice craft beer. Went to open a bottle, drop bottle opener, it was one of them uh, like gimmick ones, you know, like a bottle bottle opener sort of thing, and just shattered all out floor. So I figured I'd make a new one, thought might be interested in seeing it. Right, so here's the plan. Here's one I made earlier. Obviously, that is just the end. Uh, I'm gonna do some nice, fancy, like, scroll work or something. I'm gonna make two, so I'm gonna show you how I got from this to this. So we'll crack on, get gas furnace on. So we're going to start off by uh, flattening the end so we'll just get it a little straightened because it's a bit bent. Tidying edges up a little bit there. And so that's uh, pretty much what it needs to look like to start with. Then I've got a bit of a old punch. We'll use that for knocking an hole in it. I'll show you that in a second. Right, so hold it between your legs, just get it roughly whereabouts you need it, give it a good crack a couple of times. Turn it over, you can see exactly where, where it was. Do the same again. And you'll see the end up, it didn't actually fall out, normally it does. There we go. As you can see that's now got an hole in it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use this to stretch that hole out. Over this uh, hole in anvil. Have to be careful, do it a bit each way. Right, a little bit more. As you can see, it's stretching that all out now. I'll we'll just stretch it a little bit more and then we'll go over it, peck on. Thank you. 
Now because it's only really thin now, it's uh, delicate work. Make sure you keep straightening it. Because it's only thin, it does go cold really quickly, so you have to keep reheating it. Just keep working at it, keep stretching it out, thinning them sides out, getting that all to a big enough size to what you need. We are slowly getting there now. So, I'd say that is pretty much big enough now. So I'll just need to tidy it up a little bit and uh, get the shape that I want. Now there's a there's a few ways to get this shape. You can either just get it hot and just gently tap it, and then just uh, get a few little taps just to straighten it all out. Or you can just do it with hammer and edge it up a bit, which is the way I'm going to do it. You, you do have a bit more control. As you can see, very light taps. There you go. So, what we need to do now is make this little lip here so that it can catch the bottle top and pull it off. Now to do that, I've got a little uh, dome dead. Place it in centre. Get a good uh, couple of smacks. And then <clears throat> leaves a nice little lip on inside right so now that they're made what we're going to do is we're going to do a design on the handle I've got two designs that I'm going to show you um, there's one that I've, I have made before it's uh, it's like playing cards so you've got four sets of cards actually made these stamps myself so we've got clubs diamonds hearts and spades to stamp into it so we'll do like a royal flush on each side and then this one we're going to do uh, what i call a, a box twist you'll you'll see what i mean when we come to it so what i'm going to do i'm going to just roughly mark off my starting point there <laughs> then I'm going to mark 20 mil sections off so we need four of them 
then we'll get 10 mil just on end and then what I need to do then is cut a groove all the way around on them four sections don't want to go too deep with this right <clears throat> what we need to do we need to do that on all four sides a little bit deeper than that and uh, also on corners what we're aiming for is to try and get like inside there to be round so that we can twist each individual section so I'll just stick you on a time lapse while I do this right so now I've cut them you can see like looks rounded inside where I've cut that'll allow me to be able to twist each segment after I've stamped them so there's not much more to do on this one now alright so now I've got that done I'm going to put it back in uh, in forge and uh, use these stamps that I made stamp a different one on each side and then I'm going to do that on each section and I'm going to get some letters to stamp on top and bottom you know for ace, king, queen, jack Okay, so try and line it up in the middle. Get a whack, turn it onto the next side, try and clean a little bit of stuff off, make sure I get my stamp right way. Same again. Brush. Right, back in fire. It's all them done. I'll just straighten it up a little bit. Not sure if you'll be able to see then. So we're going to get number stamps, we'll start off with A, so we're going to do A, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it upside down, I'm going to do the same on all the bottom corners no. so we've got K next have to make sure I get this the right way around there's no worse than stamping some the wrong way around when, when you've nearly finished
Right, that's the stamping done. Now, all I need to do is twist it, cut it off, get it a good clean. So we'll put this to one side now, and I'll show you what we're going to do with this one. And then we can twist them both together and uh, clean them both up. Four and a half inch from little pip. that'll do. I think what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use the uh, axe saw with this one. I'm going to use a slitting disc. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a groove down the centre of the bar on each four sides to start with. It is a little bit wonky, but that won't make any difference by the time it's bent. Now, what we need to do now is cut this corner in several places like that and flip it right over cut this corner in the equal amount of places now I'm going to use the slitting disc um, probably would be better with the axe you get a, a slightly thinner cut but yeah, it, it'll not affect it much so what I'm doing now is I'm putting a slit in each one of these just deep enough to join up to this centre slit that I put in on both sides. So I'm going to do this corner and then the opposite corner. Do the same on this corner so I'm going to try and make sure we start off about the same place so oh, if you can see that right and then when we twist that you'll see what happens looks quite impressive to be honest with you right got some copper in vice dunked the end so that it don't squish it got me uh, adjustable we'll just uh, give it a couple of twists get a little bit more Right, I think what we'll do now is just get it warm again using a piece of wood and a soft mallet we'll just straighten that out a bit Same thing again, just quench that eye out, nip it up here. This one I'm going to do a little bit different because I'm going to do each segment. So I'm just going to twist each segment. Just 
a little bit. I'm going to use this one to hold it, this one to twist it. it all that's uh, left to do now is give them a good clean on my wire wheel and uh, cut them to length and that's it so we'll uh, we'll crack on with that now then <laughs> Two finished bottle openers. Now, obviously, I kind of rushed these a little bit. So, like this one, for instance, you can get it much better if you take your time. But, uh, yeah, if I didn't rush them, this video would have been about 15 minutes longer. So, <laughs> there we go. But just for something quick, easy to do, they'll work and they'll last for years. So, there we go. Two nice bottle openers. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to uh, gift one of these to my nephew. It's his birthday, so I'll let him pick which one of these he wants. And yeah, so don't forget, you can subscribe by hitting this button here. Some more tool reviews will pop up here. And uh, I'm off to have a beer now. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>